you know, it's, it's not hard to see that there's this great imbalance and that things aren't right. You know, I know that, but for me, I suppose, it really hits home if I stop and think about it at this moment. Because it, it's happening right now. In the same moment, you have, you know, a generation who are sitting around, entertaining themselves, watching reality television, which, to be honest, is anything but real. While you have a child who is being prostituted behind closed doors and robbed of their innocence. It's not fair that we can go about consuming every single material option that comes our way while, you know, the widow and orphan are stripped of life's basic dignities because they're victims of a conflict that simply isn't theirs. It's not fair that there's a generation who are choking on their obesity while at the same time there's 30,000 children who will die today for lack of food. It's not fair that we have no problem going about spending three or four dollars on what is basically glorified tap water in a bottle with a fancy label while you have entire communities who suffer at the hands of disease because the only water that they have access to is foul and polluted. It's not fair that we, you know, can sing and dance and jump around in our freedom and in our liberty while at the same time the slave remains captive, out of sight and out of mind. It's not fair that that we can sit and watch the evening news from the comfort of our living rooms and pity those who, who lived where the storm hit or where the ground shook or where the water rose and simply feel sorry for them and then change the channel and get on with supper. Is it fair to walk past the homeless man and give him nothing in the assumption that he'll spend it on booze or cigarettes or, or to suggest that he should go out and get a job? I mean, who are we to judge the alcoholic or the prostitute or the addict or the criminal as if we were any better? Who are we to forget the downtrodden or the oppressed or the marginalised while we go about chasing the dream? We see this imbalance and we go, man, that's not right, that's not fair. But all too often that's all we do. Because for us to do any more is actually going to cost us something. And if that's where it ends, perhaps then it's fair to say that when we ignore the prostituted child, that we actually lend our hand to their abuse. That when we ignore the widow and the orphan in their distress, that we actually add to their pain. When we ignore the slave who remains captive, that it's us who's entrapping them. That when we forget the refugee, that it's us who's displacing them. That when we choose not to help the poor and the needy, that we actually rob them. Perhaps the only fair thing to say is that when we forsake the lives of others, we actually forsake our own.